This is The Swimming Show. A very good afternoon to you and welcome to all that matters in the world of aquatics. Nakim Matapelopale and I'm joining you from the St. Dominic School in the east of Johannesburg. The SA National Diving Championships are in full swing, but more about that later. Julia Vincent, one of our top national divers, was very unlikely not to medal in the three-meter event at the Commonwealth Games. She took the lead after three rounds, but just one dive pushed her out to fourth place. Very unfortunate, but still a very good performance from Julia. We love your interaction with us on our social media pages. Do keep it up. It's just hashtag The Swimming Show. Kajana Lebo is standing by to tell us what's on the show today. Lebo? The continental action is zone for swimming. Sterfontein is all about water and enjoying good competition. We travel to the free state for open water action. We head to Ladysmith for a Learn to Swim initiative by KZN Aquatics. The Swimming Show. The Swimming Show. Before our aquatic action gets underway, let's celebrate Nelson Mandela's centenary with a peek into the Mandela Diaries. This week, 24 years ago, Nelson Mandela cast his first democratic vote in South Africa. What a great day it was. Blessings for all South Africans. An unforgettable occasion. The Swimming Show. Ruri Mutamiko wa diving is so graceful. Kereza ike tingabu ki tutile kao na Mutamiko o when I was younger. A few weeks ago, we traveled to Lilongwe, Malawi for the Kana Zone 4 Swimming Championships. Several African countries were in attendance for Akaraza Sikhopa Hozamono, Africa Bora. Let's see what went down in Lilongwe. Day dawns on Lilongwe in Malawi. The Kana Zone 4 swimmers warm up for another day of continental competition. And I'm happy that this is building so much momentum on the ground. As we train the swimmers, they're all looking forward to be part of the team in Kana. So that is a very big incentive. But also in terms of the management, we are learning quite so much because of the Kana in terms of officiating the, the events, managing the events, preparation for the events. All this is being so much um, supported by the Kana uh, uh, office. You know, we've taken a decision that uh, we've got to go to countries and utilize the facilities they have. And because of the cost of facilities, uh, not all countries have a 50 meter pool. So uh, we've made a decision that uh, where there isn't and uh, they have a 25 meter pool, we use those facilities and that's why uh, we're using this here in Malawi. We've been fortunate when we took that decision many years ago, not many countries had 50 meter pools. But right now, I think in the region, we only have about two countries that don't have 50 meter pools. So uh, things have moved uh, quite a bit over the last decade. And here at ABC, we're also very grateful to the uh, management for hosting us for the second time, uh, Kana here. And they, they've been open enough to, uh, to the community to use their facility, which is an amazing. So we rely so much on the, uh, these private institutions who are enhancing the sport of swimming in Malawi. This is the 200 meter freestyle final for men 17 years and older. Felipe Gomes from Malawi spots the black costume and red cap in lane four, a Namibian and Zambian swimmer in the lanes closest to the camera. Hi, I'm Philippe Gomez. I am in the 17 and over age group. I'm really honored to be here. Really excited, this is the third time I'm representing Malawi and I wouldn't trade it for any other country. I started swimming here in Malawi, uh, so when I went to Portugal, my mom said choose football or, put or swimming, so I said I'll choose swimming, so that I just stuck to my swimming and I've loved it. Eight times a week, uh, twice, twice in the morning, really early morning and six times in the afternoon. It's a one hour gym, two hours in the water. I 
swim breaststroke and freestyle. They're my best strokes. And uh, from 50 to 200. Well, you can see the commitment has paid off well. Felipe Gomes wins the 200 meter freestyle. Nisted Smith from Zambia is next. And into third, Matthias Lichtenberg from Namibia. The other races went quite well. I was close to my PBs and won three gold medals and two silver. And uh, I think this is our year. We haven't won medals in Kana for, I think, someone was saying 11 years. And now we've won so many medals. Well done, Malawi and Felipe Gold. On the blocks now, woman 50 meter butterfly Johanna Bays that sports the orange cap in lane four. She is from Zambia. Kenya's Imara Bella Thorpe is doing well from lane three. She wears a white cap. In lane five, also wearing a white cap is Zune Weber from Namibia. A great turn and base from Namibia surges ahead. She will win here, and then it is stop from Kenya. That is not the Namibian, but the Zambian. Tilka Polk that gets third place from lane one. Zambia again shows that they have very good young swimmers that we will see plenty more of. And finally, we witness the 50 meter butterfly for boys 15 to 16 years of age. Grené Leroux from Namibia is in lane four. A long glide from JP Seyford from South Africa is in the green cap in lane three. It is very even at the turn. Seyford seems to have the edge, but it is close. Now it looks like Leroux from lane four. So close. Seyfert gets it, literally by a fingernail. Uganda's Nabil Saleh gets in for a credible third place. Well done, Kana Zone 4. More action next time on The Swimming Show. I love it when our young people show flair and tenacity. That will make them future champions. It is so good to watch. Rilitele Riema Bengeleng, Zila Felayalo. the swimming show. Highlights from these dives and finals will be shown at a later date. Khajana ntetelleke khuisele tamong, where the water is clear and the air is fresh. This is an ideal venue for an open water swim. This is Sterkfontein. The Sterkfontein Dam just outside of Harrismith in the Free State. This is the venue for the Stad Fontaine 1500 Open Water Swim for 2018. Three races are planned on a warm but windy Sunday morning. Race convener Vili Forster explains the rules as well as the route. The first race is the longer 3000 meters for men and women of all ages. The lifeguards are in place. The waves can get pretty big here at Stadtfontein, especially when the wind continues to blow. 30 swimmers take to the clean, crisp water of the Stadtfontein Dam. During the 1960s and 70s, the authorities realized that there could be a great threat of water scarcity and decided to build this earth dam. Managing all over the five districts in the province, and today we are here at Stelfontein. We are here for the swimming competition, which is taking place today. And uh, to tell you the honors first, we are celebrating the 18th year of the swimming competition. And basically, this is the way of marketing our results. Uh, all the accommodation this weekend was fully booked. And not only 
Stepfontaine. I think even the community in Harry Smith and other surrounding towns, all their establishments were fully booked and the business also was grooming because people were around there to enjoy the swimming. And really, what is also important, I've seen also uh, guys from the black community around here, which is a good thing because really, you know, we need to bring our own people and especially people from the disadvantaged community to participate. And I'm really glad and also would like to encourage further the organizers to say they must go each and every year this event so that at least even our own people can come and also participate, not also here, because I know also in Midlands, Meander also, you guys are also having a big one there. So that we should have also representatives from, from also the Free State. And what is important is not only people from the Free State that are here, we have people as far as Mpumalanga, KZN, and also Haute and which is a good marketing opportunity for us. And really, I thank you very much, guys, for this. And also for choosing Stagfontein as the venue for this event. Definitely a hidden gem midway between Johannesburg and Durban. Well-known former national swimmer and now a season open water campaigner, Gary Albertain is the first to reach terra firma after 40 minutes in the dam. Uh, the water is really nice and warm as opposed to uh, previous years where it's been a bit colder. The wind is up as usual, so it's a little bit rough, but the sort of the first two buoys is, as I say, a little bit rough. The third one is nice because you're swimming with the, with the current and with the wind, so that was very pleasant. Um, I don't think on the 3K I'd, it wasn't too bad. I didn't um, find that it changed too much, but I think on this, the one and a half now, I think it's going to be a lot tougher. Uh, Stafferton is extremely clean. I mean, there was probably most of the stretch back from the far buoy to here, you can see the bottom, and it's actually beautiful to swim in. Yeah, I think in terms of, from a family point of view, you know, the whole family does it. My wife, Megan, daughter, Caitlin, and Connor, my son, we're really loving the open water swimming. It's really a nice thing that you can do together as a family. Uh, my name is Jay Azran, 41, I'm from Swaziland. I found the event was pretty choppy conditions out there. Um, I think I swallowed about 5% of the dam. So, but uh, the, the water is beautiful and clean. Um, as I say, the water wasn't too cold. So yeah, I enjoyed it. Challenging swim, but uh, I'm glad we did it. This is Bernardi, the trainer at Sir John currently. Um, she actually swam Stadfontein herself for three or four events that she swam and she has completed the 3K here, same dam for three, the three years in a row. And we've decided that um, it's a good experience for the kids to actually swim Stadfontein because it's an incredible dam to be at. And the organization is very good and we love coming to Stadfontein and that's why we thought let's give our kids the benefit of the doubt and bring them here. Um, their first remarks when we drove in here is like an ocean to actually tell you guys. So um, it's quite a different event for them because it's their first one as well. So something new, something that they haven't done. So it is the 49-year-old Gary Albertain in a time of 40 minutes and 13 seconds. Juan Jacques van den Kuchen gets second place. Daughter Caitlin Albertain is well ahead of mom Megan Albertain in the female section of the Bridgestone 3000. The wind has picked up sharply for the final boys and men's race over the 1,500 meters. We talked to Trevor Sibeko about the benefits this event has for the immediate community. Really, that's why I'm saying I'm glad to see the community also coming here because really it benefits them, as I'm saying. Their businesses also this weekend was really booming because of people who are here all over the place. And also as a department, I think we really have to make it a point also that we, we, we promote this event, uh, not only to the community around Kwadkwa and Harry Smith, even in other parts of the Free State, they should come in numbers uh, also to participate in this event. The location of the Stadfontein Dam makes it an ideal venue for an open water event of this nature. The resort does offer accommodation, but nearby Harrismith can cater for many families wanting to make this a weekend happening. 
49-year-old Gary Albertain is leading the younger swimmers, as well as his older peers in the early stage of the race. Wanawa Gary Connor Albertain Liano Nalitemo. Gary enjoys the choppy conditions. He's a strong, experienced swimmer. Kalen Stein, Kiana Nadusima Emung Aburaru, Yena Unalidi Limotema Shume Limitwe Silela. David Obathnot is the leading 51 plus swimmer. Yena Unalata like Michael Hotman Tatin Leo. The lifeguards keep a close watch as the water gets choppier towards the center of the dam. Gary Albertini Kiana Anna Emipil. Chehe Unasasa Hantlet at Sing Leo Kwana Kustar Fontaine. Now we can see why the Albertains won the family relay at the Aquila Mid Mile Mile in Howard. In some of the seeding events of the prestigious mile race, young Connor managed to get ahead of his dad, Gary Albertain. Chehe Kimusavit Yomutle Ona Huta Ho Connor. I don't think he's getting past the old man today. Gary's too experienced for that. He rises after the 1500 meters of open water. A short jog under the arch, and he records a winning time of 21 minutes and 35 seconds. Yeah, now we like to like a corner, Albertain. We like to go and sell it to the Rona, who to my good job. It was tough. It's my, it's the hardest. The water was a bit choppy, very windy. So it was, but it's very beautiful, uh, clear. It's very, very nice. I enjoyed it. This is brilliant. This, this has got like, like I said, it's clear. It's very clean. Even when you, uh, you know, sometimes you put the water inside your mouth by mistake. It's quite, it's quite clean. It's a very nice dam. I'd like to swim more, maybe get better times and just continue, you know. I enjoy it. It's very fun. Everybody's lovely here. Um, wonderful camaraderie. I think it will be just to be better at the times that I'm getting. It was quite challenging because of the current waves and everything, but instead, I did not give up. I wanted to continue and finish this. I'm very pleased, I'm very happy. Everything just went well. 21 minutes, 47 seconds, and second overall, Aile Ho Kona Albertain. Yeah, now we learn to like a Cullen Stain. I learn a hapa Carlo ya 14 to 30 year old. And our older swimmers showed the way with very credible times over the 1500 meters. To end the day of swimming, families and friends of all ages joined in for the fun swim, an informal non-competitive event and a smart way of introducing novices to longer open water distances. Kiona Carlo Yarune Asnemosena Yastar Fontaine Open Water Swim. The Start Fontaine Open Water Swim has the ability to grow beyond measure. Just watch the space. We're going to go for a quick break now. Don't go far. Of our best divers come from the province Yakwa Zulu Natal. Me, Kezera, and Aquatics have always been active when it comes to development and water safety. Previously, we have featured learn to swim activities from Ushaka Marine World, Lekwa Ulundi. The community around Ladysmith came into the spotlight recently with learners taking part in yet another Kezera and Aquatics water safety project. Exciting stuff. Here's Lebo to tell us more. Chehe Huatavisa Hubona KwaZulu Natal Aquatics expanding their water safety campaign into the rural areas where it is needed the most. Rilera Bona Carlo Ya Tugela Water Safety Iatahala Kwana Lady Smith. The Department of Sport and Recreation in KwaZulu Natal partnered with KZN Aquatics to supply guidance and learn to swim coaching to more than 150 children over a period of three weeks. Instructors and coaches are on hand to calm the early nerves and excitement. Water safety is explained in a very informative and entertaining manner. Batalo seta bana kaditi la teka sebedi swang horo baseke ba kwa kimezi. 
Oh, my name is Mkoli Sizungu. Uh, I'm here today as a chief instructor. We are running a program at Learn to Swim at Ladysmith. These kids here, they're, they're, from, they're between the age of six years uh, to 12 years, uh, which is good to teach them at the early age because it's easy for them to learn how to swim. Uh, the reason we are teaching them today uh, is because we want them to be water awareness, uh, not too scared of water. Um, we are trying by all means for these kids who have a skill because we all know that swimming is a life skill. If you can't swim, you will be in trouble one day. So we need to learn how to swim. Everybody must learn how to swim as we are teaching them now, today here. The logistics are tricky. Buses bring the children from outlying areas. The children are kitted and divided into groups with an instructor and a childminder. Basic instruction includes how to float. Several sessions on day one acquaints the learners with all these aspects in a very fun way. Backstroke. Yes, maybe not taught now, but this is what it looks like. Happy Babang, Baba Tawutseba Hori Butterfly Yona, but we see my name. How good is that? Oh, we had lots of fun. But yo, I must say, when you look at it from the outside, it looks very easy. But once you're in the pool, it's not so easy. And I have newfound respect for these kids. Yeah, it's very important. It's very beneficial. Uh, even I, as a teacher, I didn't know. But from this program, I have benefited. So I can even now help to rescue other children as well. Uh, it's very important to learn how to swim as teachers uh, for your personal gain. Uh, water safety of course and then when you see somebody else drowning or in a difficult situation in water you can be able to help them this is only week one of the three weekend campaign in future programs the swimming show will feature the mini gala where you can judge for yourself the magnificent progress the instructors have made with the kids water safety is crucial you are much safer. Maybe let's see to be signed to Horem. You can take part in any aquatic event you choose. For say to Rosimula Gai, take a name my Ellie. Get in touch with your school or a learn to swim program in your area. Yapotepisa, Ogasi Toli. Nagayona etana elisira samunati. All that's left for me to say is have fun, have yourselves a great weekend, and make sure that you get water safe. Till next time, I am Matabelo Pali. The Swimming Show.